Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Burn it down. Burn it down. There. Ready. There we go. <sighs> you good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. <sighs> I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, 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 you're gonna be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef, come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, uh, you know, I'm sorry if I... If it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you. Back when we were writing together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. Not now. You can ask me later. What? No, hey. Hey. Come on. We gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped writing with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been writing together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> Deep, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and... Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here, We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward, okay? I'm not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Get on the back! Find them! 
you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back. We're from Lost Lake Cab. Iron Mike has a treaty. Well, that was a really good idea. You want to try that again? Hey, I can take care of this stuff. Yeah? How long you been a camp? I can't. Iron Mike has a treaty, goddammit. Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. We have a treaty. Ah, shit! I'm hurt! I think that's the last of them. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. You think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go.
sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Okay, I gotta ask you something. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. To hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU 23s, modified anti aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by, the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, Spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this... by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Let's just say that it's one... Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the hand hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, saw something you won't believe. Really? You don't want to talk? Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, 
wait, uh, how did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? <sighs> Behind the counter is small coffee. Yeah, that's a day I'm never that getting back. Out, no oh, hey, look at that. Too late for marsh duty. Yeah, it's too bad, huh? Schizo. Schizo, schizo. Speaking of schizo, I wonder what the hell he did all day. All right. I didn't stick around to see what happened. See you around. Like I said, that was my mistake. How's it going? Just looking around. All right, I got you. Yeah, that'll last you. Okay. See you around. I worked at the Humane Society. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Ed. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike. Long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Geeking out. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I, I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I wasn't You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? <laughs> well, I don't think I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this off. What was that? I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. 
Oh, and you wanted to spot him the guy wearing the white space suit. Yeah, anything else? Hey, yeah, I'm trying to teach your ass shut off. Shouldn't be too long. Doc knows what's up. Field note 2068. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial... memory. No shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're... Almost clean, right? I mean, not but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. I think there might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. I heard something. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they hear that? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman, and no, I didn't catch her name. 